Wall patterns are useful to mobilize the adductors and entire hip complex. They're also very effective as a strengthening movement pattern for the sedentary, injured, and post-surgical populations. Like the wall patterns, wall bangers are effective to mobilize and strengthen the adductor group within a remedial and controlled environment. Triplane lunges are a very universal exercise to strengthen and mobilize not only the legs, hips, but also the adductors as well. The adductors are greatly impacted with a longer stride, especially in the frontal plane. Overs and unders using hurdles are extremely useful to mobilize and strengthen the adductors and hip complex. Be cautious the client has ample range of motion of the foot and ankle complex as well as the lumbopelvic hip complex. In this sequence, dumbbells are an excellent driver and load when doing asymmetrical squats. When the hips are externally rotated and abducted, the adductors are eccentrically loaded during the squat phase. The use of a viper during a shifting and reach pattern loads the system, especially the anterior X factor of the opposite hip and opposite shoulder. The use of hyperwar sandbells put great demand on the adductor group as well as the hip complex and lower extremity when the sand belts are swung or tossed in the air and then caught. 